Mad Meals, Mad Meals. Hello, welcome to the first episode of, <laughs> of Mad Meals, Mad Meals. Um, I'm hoping to teach you how to cook delicious, nutritious meals, but very simply and quick, hopefully, if nothing goes wrong. For this meal, you're going to need potatoes, chicken, parma ham, uh, goat's cheese, little baby tomatoes, and the whole thing will take you 25 minutes. Now, what we start off first, because I'm going to do potatoes, um, you can fry these if you want, but I find this t active ActiFry to be very healthy. You only need a minimum amount of oil, just a little bit, and they're quite delicious. This is meant to be a meal for two. So I'm using, these potatoes are quite small, so I might use four or six, but depending on how hungry you are and what size you are, use as many as you want. These are uh, Maris Piper potatoes. They're quite good for frying, although I do like those for um, uh, roast potatoes and but I also like King Edward's as roast potatoes. But we'll talk about that another time. Now, what I do to do it into chips, you just do this, cut it in three, and then like that, and like that, and you have chips, you see? Now, if you're scared of using a knife and you think you might chop your fingers off, then obviously put it down and use a chopping board. Cook the chips first because they're going to take a little bit longer than the chicken. Right, once your chips are cooking in the active fry, you prepare the chicken breasts. Um, I don't think I told you what this is called, but this is mummified chick chick chicken, and it's quite delicious. Um, what you do is, you make a, a pocket in the breasts, in the chicken breasts. I've already done this one, you just do a slit, and that's what you have, okay? Cut some goat's cheese, uh, depending on the size of the chicken, decide on what size you're going to put in. Now you stuff the chicken with the goat's cheese. That's all going to melt inside and it gives it the chicken quite a nice flavour. You do the same with this one. Okay. And you try and close it up as much as you can. Some people use um, those cocktail sticks, but I really can't be bothered. Now what you do is you take some parma ham, one slice at a time. You lay on the chicken breast and you wrap it around like so. Okay, and you get another piece. Oh, it's easier to go on this side um, and put it on the rest. Sometimes, depending on the size of the chicken breast, you might need three or four of these, but this isn't too bad, two's enough, and that's what it looks like. Um, I found that the, the Sainsbury's Parma ham, um, that's not too expensive, and you get about ten slices in that, so it's, it's not a bad price. Right. <laughs> While the uh, chips are cooking still, um, you switch on your George Formby. Now before everybody starts, I know it's a George Foreman grill, but we've always called it a George Formby, so that's what I'm calling it. Uh, the, this, this is brilliant for cooking chicken and stuff. It's very quick, so you don't have to mess about doing it in the oven. You can obviously do them in the oven if you want to, but it's your choice, but I prefer this. If you want to put the chicken in the oven, just put it on a greased baking sheet, place them in the oven, and you can just cook them for about 25 minutes on um, uh, electric 190. Don't know what it is for gas. <laughs> Look on the internet. <laughs> it's asking too much. <laughs> Right. Now, while that's heating up, I'm just going to put the pan on um, to do these um, different colour baby tomatoes. 
Um, I quite like them. It makes the plate look a bit nicer, you know, when you're serving it. Put about two of each colour for each person. Well, these are quite big, so I'll leave just one of those. These little tomatoes cook for about, um, I don't know, five minutes should be enough. But do it as you like it, really. If you want them more squishy, cook them more. So while they're cooking, uh, then in about five minutes, put your chicken on because the chicken on the George Formby only takes about eight minutes. The chips take about 20 minutes. Cut. Right, just to summarize, <laughs> hang on. Just to summarize, this whole meal takes about 25 minutes because the chips take 25 minutes. So once you put the chips on, wait 17 minutes, make sure your George Formby is preheated, stick the chicken on, and then with the little baby tomatoes, just, just five minutes. Chicken on the plate, a few chips on each plate. The little baby tomatoes, so we can have that. I'm a bit of a lemon freak. I love lemon on chips, lemon on chicken, lemon on everything. But obviously you go with what you want, mayonnaise, ketchup, whatever. But I love lemon on mine and it tastes delicious. And a little bit of salt. Right, and we're done. So, this is Mad Meals, Mad Meals, all done in 25 minutes. But, you know. <laughs> Hang on. Why do I want it? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> it's, um, I've forgotten the name of the meal. Uh, Mummified Chick Chick Chicken. So, this is the first episode of Mad Mears, Mad Meals. I'm hoping to do many more, so please subscribe to my channel. Bye! Mad Mears, Mad Mears